So remember, we said that f of n is big O of g of n uh, whenever for sufficiently large n, f of n is always less than or equal to some constant times g of n. Now there's also something called big omega notation. And we say that f of n is big omega of g of n. In words, this roughly means that um, for sufficiently large n, f of n is greater than or equal to some constant times g of n. So very crudely, big O sort of you can replace with a less than or equal to sign. Big omega you can replace with a greater than or equal to sign. Okay, so um, more mathematically, more precisely, we say that f is big omega of g of n if there exist constants c and k such that for all n greater than k, the absolute value of f of n is less, is, excuse me, is greater than or equal to some constant times the absolute value of g of n. Okay. So uh, for sufficiently large n, so f is big omega of g of n if for sufficiently large n, f of n is greater than or equal to some constant times g of n. So let's do an example. Let's let f of n be n squared over 100 and g of n be um, n squared. Then it is the case that f of n is big omega of g of n. So just rewriting this, I'm, claim, I'm saying that n squared over 100 is big omega of n squared. Why is that? Well, we need to give, so we need to produce constants, c and k, such that for sufficiently large n, for all n greater than k, n squared over 100 is greater than or equal to n squared. So we need constants, c and k, such that for all n greater than k, um, n squared over 100 is greater than or equal to c times n squared. So I'm going to choose c to be 1 over 100 and k to be 1. Then we need to show that n, for all n, so we need to show that for all n greater than 1, n squared over 100 is greater than or equal to 1 over 100 times n squared. But this is self-evident. I mean, n squared over 100 is equal to 1 over 100 times n squared. So certainly for all n greater than 1, n squared over 100 is greater than or equal to 1 over 100 times n squared. So um, this implies that n squared over 100 is big omega of n squared. OK? So n squared over 1,000 is also a big omega of n squared. n squared over a million is also a big omega of n squared. Remember, the big O and the big omega usually um, hide constants. Let's do another example. Let's prove that f of n equals n times log n is big omega of n. Okay, so we need to show that there exists a constant c such that for all n k, such that for all n greater than k, f of n is greater than or equal to some that constant times n. So I'm going to pick the constant c to be 1, and this time I'm going to pick k to be 2. And we need to show that n times log n, this is log base 2 of n. When I don't write the base, it means log base 2 of n, is greater than or equal to constant 1 times n. And then we need to show this for all n 
greater than 2 because we picked k to be 2 here. But notice if k is greater than 2, sorry, if n is greater than 2, it implies that log base 2 of n is greater than or equal to 1. Right? If, uh, if n equals 2, then log base 2 of 2 is 1. And log is an increasing function. So if we choose n to be larger than 2, it means log base 2 of n is greater than or equal to 1. So on the left-hand side, we have n times log base 2 of n, which is something bigger than 1. So log base 2 of n. And we need to prove this is greater than or equal to n times 1. And again, for n greater than 2, this term is greater than or equal to 1, and n is greater than or equal to n. So the left-hand side, so this implies that for all n greater than or equal to 2, n times log base 2 of n is greater than or equal to n times 1. And this implies that n times log n is big omega of n. So this is a case where, you know, if, if we had chosen k to be 1, if you plug in n equals 1 here, the log base 2 of 1 is 0. So this left-hand side would be 0, and 0 is not greater than or equal to uh, 1. So that would be a problem. But by choosing k to be 2 for sufficiently large n, this left-hand side does get much larger than n. In fact, n log n, um, you know, we, we, it's, it's not difficult to prove that n log n is big omega of 5n. n log n is big omega of 100n. You know, n log n is big omega of 1000n. And that's because um, no matter what constant you put here, 5, 100, 1000, 10,000, um, as you may, for n sufficiently large, this log n is an increasing function. So it's always going to be, it's going to get bigger than whatever constant you write. You know, if you, if you tell me um, 10,000, then um, eventually uh, log n will be, when n is larger than 2 to the 10,000, log n will be larger than 10,000. So all of these functions are big omega of any constant times n. And finally, very briefly, if f of n is big is o big o of g of n and f of n is omega of g of n then we say that f of n is theta of g of n and it, it, it this also is often said that f of n has the same order as g of n, or is of the same order as g of n. And we'll talk more about this in class.